Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Statistical Measurements with Rodian Schwartz NRP Power Sensors. In this presentation, we'll explain how to make statistical measurements using Rodian Schwartz NRP Series RF Power Sensors. This presentation assumes a familiarity with both basic and statistical power sensor measurements. If you're not familiar with these topics, or if you'd like a brief refresher, you might want to watch the presentations Understanding Basic Power Sensor Measurements and or Understanding Power Sensor Statistical Measurements before beginning this presentation. Statistical measurements require the use of so-called wideband power sensors, such as NRP Z8X series sensors. In this presentation, we'll be configuring the sensor and collecting statistics using the PowerViewer software application. If you're unsure about how to install or use PowerViewer, step-by-step -step instructions can be found in the presentation Getting Started with Rodian Schwartz NRP Power Sensors. You should already be familiar with the continuous measurement mode in PowerViewer. For statistics measurements, we need to be in Statistics mode. As with Continuous Average mode, statistics measurements can be stopped and started using the Stop and Start buttons in the toolbar. PowerViewer supports three statistical functions. The Probability Density function, or PDF, the Cumulative Distribution function, or CDF, and the Complementary Cumulative Distribution function, or CCDF. Again, please see the suggested viewing videos for an explanation of these different functions. In the case of CCDF, we can choose whether our x-axis will display absolute power values, such as minus 30 dBm to plus 20 dBm, or relative power values, where 0 dB is the average signal power, and all other values are given in dB above the average power level. Another important parameter is the number of samples used in our statistics measurements. The default sample count in PowerViewer is 1 million samples, and the maximum sample count is 768 million samples. Increasing the sample count can help get better results, but the larger the sample count, the longer it will take for measurement results to stabilize. In statistics mode, some values, such as average power and peak to average ratio, are displayed by default in the bottom left corner of the PowerViewer GUI. When making CCDF measurements, PowerViewer also provides a table view. Simply right click in the graph and choose table view to display the tabular results. The percentage values show how often the signal reaches or exceeds a given level. In this example, our signal is at or above 5.63 dBm 1% of the time, and is above 8.14 dBm only 0.001% of the time. In some cases, it's helpful to compare two or more CCDF curves. For example, if we're testing an amplifier, looking at both input and output CCDF curves can help us determine if compression is occurring. In PowerViewer, we can save and plot up to four reference curves. By clicking on the green plus sign, the current CCDF curve is saved and displayed, allowing us to compare this trace with other traces. Let's end with a brief summary. Statistical measurements require the use of a wideband power sensor, such as the NRP Z8X series, and in order to make statistical measurements, PowerViewer must be running in statistics mode. The three supported measurements are the probability density function, the cumulative distribution function, and the complementary cumulative distribution function, or CCDF. CCDF power values can be represented in either absolute or relative terms, and PowerViewer's table view gives detailed numeric CCDF curve values. We can also save and plot CCDF curves together for comparison or analysis. This concludes our presentation, Statistical Measurements with Rodian Schwartz NRP Power Sensors. If you'd like to learn more about power sensor measurements, or about NRP series power sensors, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.